Hi and welcome everyone to another episode of Gaming with Jason. And what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, team play and doing coordinated battles with your teammates as well as kind of like how you start in a game with a coalition. Okay, so uh, first thing we're going to talk about is, uh, so I started a game where we were kind of all really close to each other. And we started stepping on each other and we're, we're trying to work as a team, but you know, you need resources to be able to build your portion of the forces. So each person uh, has a role. So I am doing Navy and air. Somebody else is doing uh, air and land. Somebody else is doing air and Navy. Uh, you know, somebody's doing just land and anti-air and air. You know, everybody's having their own different role in which they uh, th that they've got to fulfill, and it requires certain types of resources depending upon what you're doing. You know, for example, Chad is doing straight air, so he's going to be doing gunships, which means he's going to need a lot of uh, supplies and not as many components because uh, everything that he's going to be doing is going to be supply heavy. So him getting the resources where he gets supply cities is going to be beneficial. So when you first start out in team play. Uh, if you got everybody on the same page, you should really be looking at uh, dividing up the resources and kind of, uh, you know, everybody saying, okay, well, I need these resources to, to build this and I need these resources to build that. Okay, so that they have a, a basic understanding. And then, you know, if you're close to each other, you know, tell the other guy, hey, I'm going in here because, you know, although you should be helping each other in a theater, unless you're invited in, you should definitely not go out and uh, and just interject yourself because the person may be going after those uh, that specific country for resources. They have the skill intact to be able to do it on their own. They may wait until they get to something where they know that they're going to need the extra assistance. And some people, they like to just start working together right off the bat. Uh, I know I do from time to time, especially if I've got a lot of uh, froggy neighbors, because sometimes that just it makes things a, a little bit more more difficult. But you should never uh, go into somebody else's uh, battle theater unless you're invited. And even though you may be taking the open tiles and things like that, um, you're you're still taking away from another individual because each one of those points and each one of those tiles uh, equals into gold it's not really uh, just about points but if you uh, have won many games and you plan on winning many games then every point counts because now what you're looking at is you're looking at gold and you know those golds are you know to help you with resources when you're trying to build in a new game to anything from speeding up production if you get in trouble in a different game you know the the gold uh, even if you do win gold playing the game uh, it's there to kind of help assist you especially when you're in a pinch you know you're you know 200 manpower away from being able to build everything you need but you need 150 or 200 150 gold that's kind of what you use gold for and when you win games you get gold so some people may be very picky myself especially is i like every point i could possibly get and you don't know exactly who all you're playing with so you should keep that in consideration and have a lot of communication. Now, if you are going to be a coalition leader, one thing that you should really focus on is giving everybody a task and trying to coordinate battles. I think that the next level of, of difficulty will come in uh, – the next level of difficulty will come when – uh, we have coordinated battles and we have one tactician that is kind of pushing everybody in specific directions and so that not only you can get a quick win, but it makes the battles a lot more entertaining when you're doing, you know, uh, two on one or three on two or three on three because it, you, you now have to coordinate. You have to work a lot better uh, and a lot closer with each other. So if you really want to be able to survive the future warfare of this game, I think that this is something that you need to start working into your overall game strategy and also being able to keep the peace because you have different personalities. Some people like to work by themselves and can dominate by themselves, but they prefer to work in a team. Some people need the team environment and able to be able to win because they're still new in the game. And so it kind of mitigates some of the negative effects. But anyways, guys, I hope this helps you uh, understand a little bit different strategy and how to be able to deal with the game. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video.